Hillary Clinton, I need to ask one more question. On October 8th, 2007, in your speech, Rebuilding the Middle Class, Hillary Clinton's Economic Blueprint for the 21st Century, you said the following. That is my view, the job of the next president, to restore broad economic prosperity, fairness, and security. It won't be easy, but I know it can be done. And then you said, I saw that for myself in the eight years in the White House as my husband carried out one of the most dramatic economic turnarounds in American history. Now let's jump forward to November 19th, 2007 in your speech, Economy Policy Address on America's Economic Challenges. In this speech you said, so in short, President Bush has abandoned the middle class, tilted the playing field against them and said, you're on your own. Republicans running to replace him say it's time for more of the same. And I say we need a new direction. In the same speech, you went on to say we had an economic strategy that worked in the 90s. We believed that fiscal responsibility could spur economic growth. So we balanced the federal budget. That experience and that strategy, that sounds really good. But I have one question that I'm sure you can answer. The CBO January 2001 report with the 5.6 trillion surplus projection that you often reference states the following. The baseline economic assumptions reflect recent favorable developments for the budget, including the concentration of income growth among people with higher tax rates. This means in the late 1990s, the rich were getting richer. Hillary Clinton, do you see any problem associated with returning to the policy that led to the favorable developments for the budget, including the concentration of income growth among people with higher tax rates?